500L. They want something bigger, more capable, sportier even, I say L, yes. You might not be seeing a lot of Fiat 500s where you live, but here in LA, they're everywhere. So, it seems like a perfect place for the American introduction of its big brother. This is the 500L. The L stands for large, which is a relative term because this is still a really small car. It has less overall length than a Ford Fiesta hatchback, but it has more wheelbase, which should grant it more interior room. How much? Well, let's find out. Well, this seat, it's mounted very high, and it affords a surprising amount of legroom, even for someone six foot three like me. Headroom isn't that great with the panoramic sunroof, though. Now, this seat reclines for comfort and slides from our cargo space. Up front, the 500L isn't as stylish as the regular 500. It doesn't have those exterior paint elements, for instance, but it is more functional. These gauges, well, they're normal. And the electronics interface seems like it'll be a lot easier to use than the older ones in the 500. The 500L has only one engine choice, a 1.4 liter turbo four that makes 160 horsepower. That's the same as the 500 Abarth, but it has more torque and it's gonna need it because this weighs about 3,300 pounds. That's about the same as a Mini Countryman. The Fiat 500 has arguably been popular because compared to the average subcompact, it offers a lot of style and frankly, it's cool. This one is definitely more practical, but the question is, is it as cool? 